let's take a look at that same standard GC2, but worksheet three this time. This worksheet is all about arcs. And let's just go through notation for just a minute here first. Um, major, minor, and semicircle are the three basic types of arcs. And they're denoted a major arc, as I said in the previous lesson. If you didn't watch it, I'll quickly re recap it. Basically, is an arc that exists that is greater than 180 degrees, more an arc greater than half of the circle. And it is always named by three letters to show that it is traveling, the, the direction it's traveling, and the size that it is. Any three letter arc is always a major arc. And you can do it just by talking about the object itself, or you can talk about the measurement of that arc. So maybe it's 197 is that arc size, and, uh, and it has to be greater than 180. A minor arc is smaller than 180 degrees, and uh, because of that is denoted by just two letters, and uh, again, denoted as to the measurement of that. So maybe this guy is just 64 degrees. Now a semicircle is kind of unique because um, it, is it major, is it minor? The answer is it's kind of both. Not really. But the truth is, notation-wise, it's kind of both. because. In this case, yes, A, R, G would tell me the direction to go, but it's not greater than 180, and it's not less than 180, so how do we do it? The answer is either way is fine. The truth is, is no matter which way you get there, you'll get to the exact same spot. That doesn't happen in a normal case. Direction around the circle matters greatly as to where you end up. When you go exactly 180, either direction is perfectly fine. So it can be three-lettered or two-lettered as to its proper name, which is fine. The next thing that you already know about a circle is that the angle sum of all of the degrees is 360. Now we attribute that not only to the angles at the center of the circle, but also to the arc angle. You can measure an arc two ways. You can measure its arc angle or its arc length. The difference in those two is arc angle refers to, if I'm saying from A to B, I'm asking how much of the 360 degrees, how much of that 360 degrees am I using? So it's an angle measure. Arc length would be how far is it to walk along the edge of that circle? And you'd say, oh, that's like, 2.7 centimeters or whatever it is. It's like a walking distance along the arc. This isn't what we're working with right now. We will later work with arc length, but right now we're talking about the arc's angle value. And uh, again, the sum of all of those adds up to 360. The other thing that's important to notice, let's say this is 45 here, that the amount of angle that's being taken out here is exactly the amount of angle happening in here. A direct relationship between the central angle, the angle at the center, and the arc angle that will always match. So if we draw this little guy, and this is a D, and this they say this is 15 degrees, and this is 15 degrees as well. Now a couple of tricks and tips along the way to help you out. Diameters cut things exactly in half, so when I see 146 from, from this location to this location, that leaves me 34 degrees to make 180. And then it unlocks the puzzle because that's 34, that's 34, I'm at 68, and now I can go find what's left of the 180 over there. Another little trick is, again, when they give you a, a central angle like 20 degrees, that means this is 20 out here. It also means the vertical angle that that would be 20, and this is 20 over here. So some nice little things. Again, a diameter that goes through the center then tells me, oh, this has got to be 160 because from here to here make 180 and so on. The last thing is concentric circles. Because a circle is similar, we prove that, um, no matter how small or how big, the, the angle amount taken up is exactly the same. 
If this angle was uh, 40 degrees here, the black circle would have a 40 degree arc angle, but the red circle would as well. Uh, because uh, it is has the central angle of 40 degrees and everybody is still proportional in that setting or equal in this case because all circles are similar. This maintains itself no matter how big or how small that circle is. Go get it.